I went to Australia. I didn't find them very welcoming because I'm, I'm quite fair skinned and wearing shorts was a big deal. So on the first day I was there, I walked into a cafe and the guy behind the counter looked up at me and went, I don't know where it is you're from, mate, but I'm guessing it's winter there. <laughs> I'm from Wales. It's been winter there for years. <laughs> Surely as a Welshman you've been called worse things than that. Oh yeah, but you know, it's just, it's just it was so it was so precise. He'd seen my like yeah. thighs and thought, I'm, I'm gonna take the piss out of that guy. <laughs> Look at his skin. <laughs> and, uh, good accent. Can you just put the bit of queen on that? <laughs> <laughs> what if the queen was doing that? What do you think of uh <laughs> Hang on, she's from Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that's not one of the most talked about things this week, but... The Queen, as Head of State, is obviously staying in Australia's most prestigious hotel, Lassiter's. <laughs> <laughs> John, Chappie, Alice, what else have people been talking about this week? They're having meetings to sort out the, the European debt, but they can't stop bickering. Angela Merkel is basically the one who's trying to fix it all, and Silvio Berlusconi called her una colonna inchiavabile which means an unshaggable lard arse. <laughs> <laughs> it just proves that if English were Italian, men would get away with a lot more. Sounds quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Someone in the press I read said that the relationships between the European leaders is at an all-time low. I thought, well, not really. <laughs> in 1939, it was a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about it, Joe? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah. Looking no, forward? It's the wrong answer. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Eurozone crisis. I'm to get a point for that. <laughs> uh, look, I, I, like, Sarkozy's sort of involved in it quite a lot, and I, I just keep thinking about his wife. <laughs> well fit. <laughs> and, and I feel like he must be in this meeting going, oh, come on. I want to get home and... Ugh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know Eurozone, but... Oh, God, it's... Oh. <laughs> you've, really, you've really sort of got into the psyche yeah. of a, a yeah. French man, I feel. Yeah. The Belgian finance minister left one meeting early because he had tickets to see Tintin. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the idea that when he was excusing himself, they're like, right, OK, what are we going to talk? We need to sort this out with the Greeks. And he was like, I need to... I need to shoot off. Because <laughs> um, it's Orange Wednesday. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if the Eurozone crisis is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> so, at the end of the round, Sean, Joe, and Louis have one point. John, Chappie, and Alice have two. <laughs> Our next round is Pick of the Polls. Sean, Joe, Louis, what do you like the look of? Oh, I don't know, I can't see. Um, I'm going to speak for you, Louis. And go for the, the, the man dancing. OK. It's Pig. nice, isn't it? Yeah. OK? Yeah. OK, do you want to sit down yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see from there, and that's why. I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all, bro. <laughs> but this is your related question. Most people think being a bad dancer is more embarrassing than being bad at sport. True or false? I'm brilliant at both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I couldn't tell you if I'm a better dancer or a better footballer. Really? Yeah, I'm just outstanding at both. <laughs> what form of dance suits your uh, moves best? I can only dance to reggae. <laughs> it's like an affliction. If it starts, I just start, and I can only stop if someone turns it down. Yeah. <laughs> it just sort of wrestles you to the ground. Yeah, yeah. But I always, I'm quite. I'm stronger than I look, so I will get up. <laughs> I did that Let's Dance for Comic Relief. I did Hey Mickey and I didn't get into the final. I worked so hard on that. I worked harder on that than, I've ever, uh, than I did in my A-levels. Yeah, I watched that. You're crap, that's why. But why? <laughs> Let me tell you something! <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Sorry, can I, can I, can I get a saucer of milk, please? <laughs> Louis claws so are hard, out. Louis. I practiced so hard. I actually fractured my wrist. Did you see my cartwheel? Fractured your wrist. I did that on a fractured wrist. Oh, that wasn't okay. A and afterwards, <laughs> I was. How did you, know, how did you fracture your wrist practicing? Oh God! Look, what were you, you doing? What was the dance? You go, cartwheel. oh Mickey, yes, and I did it like that. Hey Mickey, 
in my kitchen. I have a small kitchen and I twatted it on the kitchen handle. And that, sorry, and that, I sorry, your dance, I didn't see it, but your dance was that. <laughs> really? And you didn't get through to the final? <laughs> you were robbed. That's amazing. <laughs> that's what they do at Heathrow to direct planes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all, right? you all right, love? Just having a dance. <laughs> Um, Louis, when you watch other people dance, are you critical? Like when you no, see. No, he's not critical at fucking all, is he? <laughs> Someone needs to let it go, shall <laughs> they? Someone needs to let. Oh, even that's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was just saying, let it go. It's better. Uh, Most useful thing your parents teach you? Alice? Cooking, cleaning, sewing. That's what, what I learned you? from my dad. <laughs> my mum taught me how to make jokes based on stereotypical perceptions of gender. <laughs> <laughs> that is good, though, isn't it? My dad said, uh, if you go to university, you get catered halls. And I asked why, and he went, before I met your mother, I lived on boiled eggs and club biscuits. And I said, what happened? And he went, I got really horrific depression. <laughs> and he just left it at that. My parents taught me this. Oh, yeah. wow. do that again. That's good. Yeah. They, they taught me that. That's, that's what they've given me. Are they circus folk? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what did you learn from your parents? Well, my dad, as I left home, he said, just remember this, son, the best services on the M1, Newport Pagnell. <laughs> on you go. <laughs> what, did, what did your parents um, te teach you? Me? Price changing. Just have to take the, you know, just have to take the label off really slowly and then change it on the food, whatever you wanted. You just take the... <laughs> take a label off from a cheaper item and place and it on, it on the, the item you would like to buy. One, yeah. They scan it through, it's yeah. not shoplifting. Yeah. This bottle of champagne is 79 pence. <laughs> <laughs> My mum taught me that there's only one lake in the Lake District. She's right wow. There. Your mum sounds like a bundle of love. <laughs> <laughs> and I know which lake it is. Bassenthwaite. It's Bassenthwaite Lake. Yeah. What about what Windermere? About Windermere? We're actually brothers. Windermere's a mere. We're brothers. We, we share a mother. <laughs> Sorry. A what's a mere? A mere is, it's not a lake, but it's a different it's a type of water. It's a mere. It's a different type of water. A smaller version of a sea with no salt in it. It's a lake, mate. <laughs> Where's your mum? Get her here now. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> Poor up. She's watching this. Yeah. I apologise for what they've said about you, and I enjoy my lake fact, and I use it at parties. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll give you a clue. It's to do with spending. Always marry into money. Don't get in debt. <laughs> what, it's, you're pretty close with that. Well, my... don't get in debt. Really don't get in debt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the answer. It's the value <laughs> of money. <laughs> my parents taught me how to be self-reliant. Even now, if something goes wrong, at two in the morning, I'm the one that gets up and phones my agent to send someone round to fix it. 